It is happening again. We just couldn't stay away from this imaginary world of Seattle. The city that brought us Starbucks, hipsters, uh, and apparently more mafia-based crimes than Little Italy. Because today, we are watching True Justice Episode 5. I know I said we would take a break from this show, but uh, one guy in one single comment on one video said that I promised to do all of Seagal's stuff and Red Eye don't play no games. Gator don't play no shit. Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. And don't worry if you haven't seen the first four episodes because like every two episodes is a new story. So you're not missing much. So let's go see who gravitates towards our man today on Red Eye Reviews. We begin our little adventure in a local tavern, trying to hit on some local winches. My friend said you're the guy that keeps the party going. Of course he's the guy. Have you not been watching the first 30 seconds of this episode? The man likes to party. Meanwhile, outside, these bad guys are getting chased by the creme de la creme of cops. You're under arrest, throw the bag of dope on the ground and get on the car. See? Seagal doesn't even have to chase bad guys anymore. These fools are so damn guilty, they just run directly at them. Headquarters, EB-21, requesting cars for officer assistance. Hold on. Does my girl have a wrist communicator? Is this Seattle or is it Star Trek? Also, if you're trying to hide it, I don't know. You don't even look undercover. But anyways... Cut back to the club. I love that part of a movie. They're like, hey, give me drugs. Whoa, these drugs make me feel not normal. Did you put drugs in my drugs? So while it does look like this girl is ODing or something like that, uh, nobody has time or cares at all because this one nasty chick is just whipping her sweat all over the place. Yeah, yeah, this this was pre-COVID for sure. Cut back outside. Come here, you little punk. Oh my God, people. Seagal has evolved. He's unlocked the ability to control his gravitational pull. His orbit is just pulling in bad guys from all around. But they respond to that party shop place where that girl OD'd. When are these kids going to learn street chemists kill people left and right? Did they throw a party in like Dexter's kill room? Why is this place covered in plastic? And, and do not tell me the cops did this because they, they didn't. Meanwhile, somewhere else, this guy is chatting it up with the drug dealer. Who would you talk to? The cops. That's who you talk to. All right, this guy, this this dude looks like if Jared Leto's Joker and like Smeagol had a love child. And you can get mad at me all you want for that, but that is bang on and you know it. I just want what's best for everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. All of these people here get killed, but they ignored the number one rule of filming crazy shit in public. You gotta act like you're playing a phone game. Swipe your fingers on the screen a few times. Laugh a bit. It's easy. One of the victims is holding a smartphone and he filmed the whole thing. So now we know that bad guys from that girl's OD are the same bad guys that killed these eavesdroppers. Cut to the office where Seagal thought he was a good enough actor to act across from nobody. Where are you going, man? I'll grab the team. We'll be in the bullpen. All right. <laughs> All right. And if you remember old episodes, there was this like eye candy Calvin Klein model dude. Uh, he left the show, but he pretended it was like for his character's mission to reunite with his father. Well, he got replaced with like the 93 Toyota Camry version of him. Gates here is going to be working with us. It's going to be a kind of a temporary deal just until Radnick gets back. If he was a model, it would be for like that brand of underwear you can only find at thrift stores. 
And even though it's like in a package, the bag is always ripped open and one pair is just missing. Yeah, those. Griffin, you got my chair. Anything more from the pole cams? Don't be too hard on him. He might, he might turn out all right. I'm not hard on him. I'm not hard on any of you guys, man. Y'all don't know what hard is. I haven't been hard in years. Man, you didn't think high blood pressure would help, but it's like, it's like the opposite. And then I can only assume the writers of this show were told to just add more drama and actually, you know, try to get a viewer or two because we get this. Did you plan on telling me you have emphysema? If you get an attack in the field, you could die. Emphysema. <laughs> Our dude is going down, you know, but if that's not good enough to win an Emmy, let's add this. Yeah, we're just about to hit a pad. I can't really talk right now. It's important. I have to go, Kathy. I can't really do this right now. I'm pregnant. And she's pregnant. Yeah, maybe the baby has emphysema too. We don't know. But we went from knowing nothing about this dude to them way oversharing their problems and all of us being super uncomfortable. But we hear of another OD of some party goers and we investigate. I'll talk to Sparks and see if I can expedite it so there's no more kids dying on the street. Found these tucked in her bra. Ecstasy. And that dude was like, suspicious people? That's me. <laughs> uh, I'm suspicious. Let's do this. Hey, yeah, I could have told you it's pointless to run from him. Like, for one, the whole gravity thing we just covered, but mostly, Seagal has mastered the monster walk. You can run all you want. He's just going to appear around the next corner. Where are we at on this girl? The dancer that died in a cage. You know her? We party together at least a couple times a week. You know you're old when the idea of partying sounds horrible. That's twice a week? That sounds exhausting. But we get to interview this guy and Seagal is sitting there and he's getting real itchy. He knows that people feel the most comfortable when you do an over-the-top racially based voice. And he just can't resist. Where your daddy? There's the guy we know. We know you couldn't be normal around him. Come on. I know him and he ain't dumb. But he does tell us who the bad guy drug dealers are and we get closer to the arrest. So traces of heroin, cocaine, LSD. Wasn't the new guy supposed to bring me some of this? You know what's funny is that like this is such a common room for Steve to be in. I didn't even notice there was a samurai sword. And a guitar. They're both in here. My eye is just trained at this point to not care. Meanwhile, our unlikable underwear model is checking on a lead about the dealer. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be fine. They're just doing this so like we're going to actually like his character more than the 0% we do at the moment. You're lucky. Why? Why? Uh, because the other dude left and you got promoted to a main character, that's why. All the ecstasy from the ODs have the same amounts of cocaine, heroin, and LSD. Gates was trying to cover for a friend down at DEA. A few hot loads also show traces of signing. All right, you, <laughs> you cannot say hot load around me. You can't. I'm not mature enough to handle that. Between hot loads and I'm not hard, this show is literally writing the jokes for me. I've seen and heard things that they don't want anybody else to find out about. Daddy grossly underestimated the bad guys on this one. We both did. Well, you know what they say. If it's not actually dramatic, zooming in will make it so. But we get ready to go bust the baddie at his secret base, which isn't secret. Like, we literally just looked up his license plate and it gave us the address. Hey, baby, I need to tell you something. Go ahead, make it fast. You know how lately I've been kind of riding you? Come on. Was, was the writer like watching porn while making this? Was he like, Seagal fills his bag with hot loads while his police officer gets ridden hard by his wife? Yes. Yeah, that's good. And then what I can only assume is a real SWAT guy who Seagal just wanted him to think he was cool. He shows up. This here's Cody. He's a friend of mine from SWAT. Good guy. Trust him a lot. Yeah, his name's Cody. I'm sure he's a great guy. It's just unfortunate that he lost his tongue in that accident because uh, all he could do now is nod and look around. Let's move. Uh, can't complain. Could have been worse. 
It's really sad. You hate to see it. Oh, I also <laughs> I have a great moment. Do you guys want to see Seagal rounding a corner like a pro? Textbook, you know, <laughs> walk entirely out of your cover, stand in the open, uh, intimidate him, show him you can hold the gun with both hands. I don't know, maybe try to like hacky sack it back up to yourself. That'd be cool. But the assault begins. Mason's emphysema's acting up, like literally, despite us never knowing about it before. Now, uh, it's a problem now. And Seagal gets to the bad guy, and now, let's play a game. How many camera cuts can we cram into a few seconds? You ready? It's always more than you think. It is, and it's really impressive, and I had no idea what happened. You tell your man I'm trying to stand down. Truth of the matter is, is we don't have communication with them. Well, the real truth is that you just met him like 10 minutes ago, and we don't think he got hired as a speaking role because he's yet to open his mouth. Drop your weapon, put it on the ground, lay face down on the ground. How's my son? He's good. But the mission is over. Uh, very easy. No twists, no turns. Our new SWAT guy just walks out silent, just like we like him. His one and only acting credit of his career. And then near the end... Like, have you guys ever played a video game where two characters walk into each other and they just start speaking their voice lines? But it's obvious, like, those lines were intended to be heard by the player. Well, here you go. Hey, boss. Where you at, man? Listen, man, this had your name on it. Is that yours? No, I just thought that. What you thought I'd need you for something? If I could turn back the hands of time, anything else I need to know? My wife does enough worrying for the both of us. How crazy is that? Go on. It's award-winning stuff, guys. That's top-notch. And then the cherry on top of this terrible show is that Mason gets home. He's all full of emphysema and pregnant wife, only to see... Goodbye, Andre. I'll be staying at my mother's until we figure this out. She left him. That's right. Yeah, she said his cancer coughing would just wake up the baby all the time, you know, so she had to go and live with her mom. Not really. Uh, she... She said it's because his job is too dangerous to have a kid, even though she clearly knew what his job was. But uh, also, I don't know if you know how babies are made, but she had a pretty active part in that process. <laughs> but uh, I don't care. What do I care? The actors of this show are dropping like flies. And that's it. Dramatic fade to black while we fade on over to Red Eye Reacts. I need a little pick me up. I can take care of that. <laughs> that is the most effective anti-drug ad campaign I've ever seen. That looks horrible. Not not even the drugs, just the dancing, all of it. I want to go home. I just want what's best for everybody. Oh, snap. That dude has the same camera that they film Bigfoot with. I need to just see this again. Because I need to see if I can recognize all the players. Shake your hand. All right, that's a big hand. Pack me pregnant, wife. No, this guy here, I know this guy. He's a hey, you know. Remember that guy, Paul Franco? Oh, hey, Steve. Can you make it fast? I'm about to go steal some VHS players with Dominic Toretto and the fam. Tell him to relax. We're gonna find him. What are you scared about? Nah, you wouldn't tell him. Oh, man, this is all connected. I'll be honest, Steve. I haven't heard a word you said. Your face just has so much texture in it. Like, you gotta moisturize better than this. Heroin, cocaine, LSD. Somebody's trying to put together a cocktail that's gonna be extremely addicting. Seagal, hey, wake up, buddy. You're, you're talking yourself to sleep again. Like, we literally can't turn your mic up any louder. See, the way I figure it, they peppered each bag with hot loads. Please don't pepper any bags with hot loads. Guys, you're in for a treat. I have exclusive footage of when Seagal found out that they might discontinue Twinkies. It's pretty intense, so uh, take a look. I want them, and I want them bad before somebody else dies, so find them and bring them in. That's it. That's true justice, baby. It's back, and it's, it's way worse than it ever was. It's so bad. If you liked the video, though, 
please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, like it with a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Do you pepper any bags with hot loads? Don't tell me if you do. I, d I don't want to know. It's so gross. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, you can head to my Patreon page. Sign up there to do so. As always, huge shout out to each and every one of you. They're the ones who basically pick like three fourths of the movies that we watch. So they have a huge role in this channel. And I don't think I could do it without you. So sincerely, thank you all so much. If you want to join that community, the link is down below. I also have a Discord community. That link is down below. As well as the merch store, always down below. I will see you all next time. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy. All right. <laughs> all right.